Grodd goes to Skull Island. Let's talk. Hey, what's good, comic fans? This is Comfy Comics, and we're here to talk about The Flash, Season 2, Episode 7. I'm Comfy Rich. And I'm Comfy Nate, and no, I'm not Grodd's father. It's not me. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm. I'm a, I got a lot of kids, but that he's not one of them. Richie, what do you think of this episode, man? Um, we'll start out by saying that Wells ain't scared of nothing. Basically, right from the start of this, this is kind of like Wells packing up his bags. He was like, "Well, I come here to help. Um, get the get the help from the Flash that failed. Now the only thing I can do is go back to my world and face Zoom myself. Zoom beat the brakes off of Barry." Last episode, and Wells is kind of like, well, I got to go face it myself. Like, dude ain't scared. I'm just going to open up by saying that. He off the, he off the, he got, he, he bucked. I like Wells. I mean, he's, he's got I his like daughter, man. I mean, what's he going to do? He's like, listen, I, I'm out of options. You know, when Caitlin basically talks to him, he's like, listen, I, I don't have any, I don't have a plan. It's like, I got to save my daughter. Yep. I'm going in. You know, I'm going to go in there. And I, I mean, and she basically said, listen, you know, you could, we can try this again, you know, basically having to talk him into it. Um, and he still doesn't want to. He's like, man, I, I got to go, you know, and you got to think about it. He's going through a lot of emotions. He wants to save his daughter. Mm-hmm. He's not completely thinking straight. He just, they just got a huge defeat. I mean, Zoom just brutalized Barry in front of everybody, which plays yeah, into yeah. what's wrong with Barry in the first place. I mean, Barry's healing, but man, he's just like, he's got like PS, you know, PSD. PTSD. Yeah, he's he's like traumatized because I mean, dude just tore him up and did it in front of everybody. Oh, he, yeah, had his way with them, and you know he's down and he's recovering slowly, which we talked about last. One. We knew he would. Um, wasn't sure how fast it would happen, and you know with his with his abilities and stuff, he come back really quick and was spent this whole time trying to get his speed back and stuff like that. But it was cool. He didn't really need it. Um, we got Grodd back and. He was he's getting these doctors to get this serum, these drugs or whatever. And you know, I'm asking myself, like, I was like, man, how is he controlling um these people from that far away and how is he picking them and, and just stuff like that? Like, how is he able to pinpoint who he wants and make them do what they want? And then they explain it, you know, that he's he's getting these drugs together and stuff that enhance his abilities and whatnot, and he wants those drugs to be used to create more. Yeah, I mean, he's trying he's, to do Planet of the Apes here. I mean, he's by himself. I mean, he's right. He's trying to learn who he is. He wants more of his people. I mean, he's he's obviously he feels alone, and I mean that's that's what he wants. He wants Caitlyn to recreate what created him, um, so mm-hmm. that he can he can have more people. I mean, that's that's basically what it boils down to. Um, and he doesn't care how he does it. I mean, he he looks at at, at humans as being. Uh, you know, flies. I mean, look at the guy. I mean, he just wham slapped that one guy and flew him up across the, you know, in the air and killed oh. him just like that. You know, man, girl pimp smacking everybody in this movie. Man, he pimp smacked everybody. Wells, that doctor, Barry. I mean, he was. I was like, dang. Yeah, he was slapping. <laughs> Grod Crump. <laughs> um, but they said they sent Wells in. You know why they sent him in? Wells ain't scared. He ain't scared. He's like, yo, put the suit on. Pretend to be the other Wells' his father. Go in. He was like, I got that. You know, like, I'm going to go face this big, giant gorilla ape. How, what did you think about that scene when I actually, again, of course, I'm going to crack up in this show. It has anything to do with Cisco at some point during the show. And um, they had that. He was like, okay, I need you to pretend to be the other Wells. And then Wells was just like, uh, Cisco, you know, you like a son to me. And, like, Cisco just starts rubbing his head like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. You know, like, I was cracking up at that scene. I thought it was great. Yeah, it was funny, you know, because he, you know, that that was, like, one of the moments that, like, really messed with Cisco. So then when he finally got it right, he's like, yeah, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it kind of, it kind of, you creepy. Kind of yeah. put him off, uh, off a little bit. He's like, okay, I'm, okay, you're good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he came in there and, I mean, he was, he was trying to talk to Grodd. And even Grodd was, you know, like, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, you know, father, you're still alive. You know, and he started like trying to think. Okay, maybe he is. And then, I mean, then he his problem is that you know he tried. He's like, oh, you know, uh, what was it he said to him? He said something like, "It's okay," or he like, 
you know, made him, he's like, you know, father would never do something like that. And then wham, slaps him, you know, knocks him across the room. And, uh, yeah. and you know, it was just, it was kind of interesting how they, uh, they played that out, you know, and what, again, yeah. Wells, it Wells was got a- back up, stabbed the monkey and got out of there. You know, Wells yeah, just, just did, but not even phased. And it's kind of cool because once he did it, he helped save him. I mean, he's now become a part of the group. I mean, that kind of helped. That did. I noticed that they didn't really hit on it, but you you got the that vibe from it, if you will, um, towards the end, where that kind of solidified the trust between him and the rest of the crew, kind of once and for all. That he's there to help, and he's going to be a more permanent part of this team. We know he's going to go back to Earth too and stuff, but he's definitely going to be a a part of this team one way or another from here on out, which I'm I'm glad of that, and I hope it continues to stay that way. Um, now they got a trick, Grodd. To go through one of these portals to send them back to Earth 2. Because apparently in Earth 2, they've got a refugee camp or something set up for other apes similar to Grodd. I don't know if they're just like Grodd. I was uh, concerned because the way they played it was, oh, he went over there and then they left that story alone and continued telling what was going on in Earth 1. And I was upset because I was like, yo, I want to see the place where, where Grodd goes to. And thankfully they showed it. Nate, can you tell me anything about... Uh, the island. I know you'd mentioned before that it was something. So well, what's I mean, what's the deal kind of with a, this they're island? They're kind of doing things a little different. But the thing about it is that Grodd, he is in the comics. He has other monkeys that he basically he's like the king of these monkeys. You know what I'm saying? Like he he, he sees her from Planet right, of the Apes, basically. basically what and you're me. you know mm-hmm. they're from like another uh, di- part of the world dimension, or even I think at some point hidden in the jungle. I mean they kind of. The stories change over time, but this is him. Okay. And he goes to this place, and like you said, it's where these other monkeys have been, um, you know, experimented on. And I'm not, I'm thinking, well, it's probably just going to be a bunch of cages or whatever. When he gets there, I mean, you can see it, man. It is like there are, are monkey statues and all kinds of stuff. And it's like, okay, these guys obviously have intelligence. They built this. You know, it looks like, you know, Aztec ruins and stuff. I mean, it's like they're creating a civilization. Now Grodd's mm-hmm. there. Grodd is going to walk up in there, and I mean, he's going to basically sit down and say, "I'm he go, in charge." I mean, he's going to run he's things. Gonna run oh, he's going to run now things. Now that he has that, I don't know if we'll see more of that this season. But Grodd and his and his and his uh, all of his other uh, new eight army, guy, his army basically, is going to come into play at some point because in the comics they have tried many yeah. times to come in and try to take over. So I mean, I don't know if that's if this is just kind of a glimpse of what we might see next season. Um, or it might come into play this season. But either way, I thought it was cool how they how they introduced that. They got that in there. Um, so it's going to be exciting. And you know what? The funny thing also, I thought, you know, Grodd didn't look too bad. I mean, as far as the CG and everything, he actually looked pretty good. No, he, he's looked good the whole time. And the fact that they were able to keep him on screen as much as they did mm-hmm. during this episode, you know, was good. Which got me thinking, man, does anybody else want to see – uh, Grodd and King Shark fight each other. Did anybody else think of that when they was watching? I'm watching this. I'm like, yo, I kind of wish King Shark would just, you know, pop up and just punch him or something. I kind of want to see him fight. I don't know if you took Grodd's mind control away as far as, like, maybe it doesn't work on shark heads or something. That would be kind of Then it would just kind of be them fighting. Like, I want to see that happen. Do you think that's possible, man? Do you think we get to see that battle some sure kind of way? I'm pretty sure that at some point, sci-fi has done some giant shark versus a giant monkey movie. They've done every other uh, creature versus creature right. movie. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's something out there. that I want to I want to see it. But anyway, moving on from uh, from Grodd, basically. Um, looks like Flash might get his ring. For those of you who are not familiar with the comics, like me, Nate, since you explained the island, I want you to go ahead and explain this ring thing because it was actually kind of news to me that once you brought it up, it read, you know kind of jogged my memory a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Barry has a ring, and that's basically where he keeps his costume. You know, he's got his Flash ring. It it has a it has his costume inside the ring, and when he needs to change it to the Flash, he basically pops it out. The ring opens, the suit comes out, and man, he pop you know puts it on. He speeds real fast and puts the suit on. Um, it's kind of cool because I remember way back when, in the first season, when Wells had saw had that, I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. He's got the ring, and I'm, and since he's from the future, I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be neat. Eventually, they're going to bring it up, but they never did. Now they brought it mm-hmm. back up, um, and they're talking about, well, he basically said that, but that'd be cool if I could get that. Uh, Barry was like, that'd be cool if I could do that, and then Wells is like, well, I can help you. You know what I'm saying? Like he knows everything. I, about I know that. a thing about microtech. Right, exactly. And then Cisco cracked me up again. He was like. 
you know, uh, you know something about everything, don't you, or something right, like that. Right. And I was, I just thought it was funny, but yeah, he gets he basically good. what you're saying is he putting the suit inside the ring, basically, yeah. And then it's going to be easier and then for him to basically be, you know, the Flash, flash wherever. wherever he's what he doesn't have to like. I mean, even though he's so fast, he could have a suit anywhere and get it out of there real quick. But you know, it's kind of cool. It kind of again, just a little you know, nod back to the comics and being able to get back to wh- around what we're used to. Um, and that's cool. I like right, that. I thought that cool. was really exciting. Um, and then you've got the thing with Cisco and Saunders, which she is you, hot girl. Yeah, she's hot girl. Okay, she's hot girl, and you know, you know, he vibing her, touches her hand, flips out, says she's an angel, kisses her, really realizes that it's not a dude, that it's her. Mm-hmm. And um, what's up with that? What's that leading to exactly? Well, I mean, they've they've shown the commercials for it. We know that you know next week we're not going to have a uh, an episode of Flash or Arrow because of Thanksgiving. Um, but then the following week we're going to do a crossover event. We're going to do Flash, and then we're going to do Arrow. And from what I've read, a lot of it is going to be about Hot Girl and Hot Man, and the introduction of them, the introduction of Vandal Savage, which is going to be the, the the villain that they're going to have to deal with in DC Legends of Tomorrow. So the crossover event looks like it's going to uh, basically open up a lot of this stuff, kind of get it ready um, for when that show starts, and I believe it starts sometime next year. So there's a good chance that this actually might be the last. Um, kind of episode that leads into the DC Legends of Tomorrow um, until okay. until we actually get the show. So this is more of a setup. So this is just more setup for the Legends of Tomorrow. Pretty much. Is this two this two uh, episode crossover between Arrow and the Flash. Exactly. All right, cool. And people, y'all stay tuned now. Like, our, the Flash is popular. All right, we put these videos up, and for us, our little teeny tiny channel, it'll get anywhere from 60 to, you know, we've had one go up to 300-something views. So it's a popular series that people like as The Flash. There ain't nobody watching The Arrow. Put an Arrow video up, it had two views. Now that we're crossing over, man, y'all check those Arrow, Arrow videos out because they're good. I'm, the show might not be as good to you as The Flash, but, you know, check that stuff out, especially now that we're about to do this crossover. Um, without that little plug, I got one thing I want to end this one on, and I'm going to shout out a dude. I think his name was Adrian Mosley. I hope I got your name right, but he made a comment. You know, everybody's like, who's Zoom? You know, everybody has their doppelganger or whatever from Earth 2, right? And everybody's seeing these pictures online about who the Flash is from Earth 1 that we know, if it is anybody we know, and Adrian Mosley on Google Plus said, uh, he thinks it's Barry's dad. And when he said that, man, Nate, I was like, you know, I could, I can get down with that. Because I was trying to think, you know, Zoom is stout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's not a small guy. Like, he, he's kind of big. He's broad. And I was like, man, I could see Barry's dad. And Barry's dad is, um, you know, a big dude, too. Like, I don't know. What do you think about that? Does it have anything to do with the comics? I know they can switch all this stuff up and do what they want with it. I mean, it could be. Um, I mean, do you think that's I plausible? Kinda have my own, I kind of already suspect who I think it is, but without... Okay, who you suspect it is, then? I think it's, uh, I think it's Detective Thawne from last year that got killed. I think that's who it is. That's my guess. Who? Remember Detective Thon who got who basically shot himself to destroy to kill. Oh him? yeah. I think that's who it is. That's me. You think that's who it is? That's my guess. I mean, I know who the guy who's playing it, the character, the person who's using the voice. We know him. He's been in a lot of things. I actually think he played uh, who was it, Candyman back in the old. Um, oh that, that's yeah, him. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We know that's him. Okay. That's his voice. That I, that might actually be him in the suit. Nah, I doubt it. But more likely, it's possible. I, I guess. Mean, more likely, I think it's somebody that Barry knows. I think when you get the reveal or they do a flashback to say how he become who he is, that it's somebody will recognize. So you think it's him? A lot of people are thinking that. That's who I'm thinking. I mean, I mean it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. But I think it would be a nice. The reason why I think is because they mentioned that we hadn't seen the last of him last season after he died. Um, I remember oh. reading something that said that you know, okay, we might run into yeah. him again. Okay. <laughs> Whether or not we're right. running to him in an episode where it's just like he comes back for some other reason and he's not that guy, that could be very well the case. I don't know. Um, right now, I'm not so much interested to in find out who he is, except more or less finding out more about him. Period. You know, as yeah, far as, like, same how here. He definitely, is who he is. I mean, you know, from their world, it's real interesting to see 
Um, yeah, I want to I want to know more about Zoom and how exactly he become him because he's more of a of a B. He's not just got a mask on like he's got like these claw looking thing. Like I don't know, it looks cool. But anyway, guys, that's our show for today. Uh, like, comment, um, look, subscribe to the channel. We're doing videos almost every single day. Um, you definitely getting video a, a week for sure. Um, don't forget about the giveaway. We're giving away a lot of the Star Wars stuff. We got the uh, Rick Grimes Funko doll like. Get involved in that. Again, you have to be a subscriber and you have to comment on a video at some point throughout the month of November. And the announcement for that giveaway is probably going to be December 1st. Like it's going to be the very first of December. So get involved with that, people. Until next time, I'm out. Hey, if you're still sticking around, then thank you for watching. That means you like us and we like you. So do us a little favor here and click that subscribe button over there so you don't miss any of our videos because we drop in videos pretty much daily, okay? And then click this video up above my head and watch that if you haven't already because it's awesome too. All right? Yo, man, Comfire Rich is out. Peace.